The decorations are out. And another Starlight Celebration begins. Hello once again, everyone. And welcome to another episode of The Sanctuary. Uh, once again, we are playing Final Fantasy XIV Online. Um, and tonight... We are doing the Starlight Celebration event for 2013. Um, um, <clears throat> uh, unfortunately, we're a few days late to the party, um, but there's a bright Stupid side. Weather. What? Stupid weather. Um, weather, work, but I mean, there's a bright side to the train wreck. Your mother smells of elder. Your father smells of elderberries. No, the fact that there are very few people here, so the NPCs won't get mobbed. <clears throat> mm. But anyway, before we continue anything else, let's introduce ourselves first and foremost. As always, I am Kruznik X, the host. Um. I run the day-to-day -day operations, or at least I try to. It never works out the way I planned. Like right now, <laughs> where my where my picture isn't showing up for some contrived reason. What the fuck? Where did my PNG go? Mm -hmm. It just disappeared into the freaking ether. What that. the fuck? There it is. Don't, don't worry, we don't expect anything. Uh, joining me on this ride are, of course, first and foremost, my lovely wife, Arya Stormborn, who is somewhere. Oh, there she is. I'm not, I'm not invisible. I'm just cute. Mm-hmm. Also joining uh -huh. us and continually throwing snowballs for no discernible reason is Lord Firax. It. You're snow, I must throw it. it it's law. It's science. Yeah, well, I someone's getting you back for throwing <laughs> throwing shit at me. I don't know how to <laughs> get with snowballs. And throw also joining, <laughs> joining him is his brother and sometimes the guy who joins in the shenanigans, Corlash. Hello. And joining us, but not in game, is the voice inside all of our heads. We've we've done several crafting <laughs> quests with him, um, and that is Stray. Yay! He's the Stray. Mayhem in your heads. Actually, Stray. Stray, did you get a new mic? No, I'm on my phone. Oh. Wow. Mm. What, so I what gotta kind... deal with the echo. No, no it actually sounds wow. pretty decent. It, it just sounds... I mean, it does sound a tiny bit echoey, but it's more like reverb than echo. Shut up, Echo. Fire. I wasn't talking to you. Fire echo. echo. Did you say throw? Throw. Yeah. Yeah, it did not work. Because she doesn't have the throw uh, emote. Of which I am highly grateful. You don't have... Set oh. my box. Yeah. Mr. Gaston. I can't remember if I have it. I might actually have it. So, hmm. wait. Stray, are you downloading Final Fantasy XIV as we speak and getting more time? Or are we just... Uh... Well, money's an issue, so no, I probably won't be getting any time for a little bit, but I won't know until, like, Friday, Saturday. Fair. All right, anyway, we've got a quest to run and not a lot of time to do it, so let's stop uh, dicking around here and throwing snowballs at everybody. And go tonight, uh, <laughs> for this year's it's quest... It's just you, not everyone. For this... Uh, for this year's quest, we are speaking to the bearded lady who, let's face it, it's Amganji. We see the pink tail. We see the hair. It, it's none, no one other than her. But anyway, let's talk to quote unquote the bearded lady and complete the quest 
Blue Starlight. Arya, if you would like to do the honors. If it isn't my favorite adventure, okay. you do remember me, don't you? Uh, no. Yeah, not really. Perhaps, perhaps I should remove my beard. Mm-hmm. That would probably do a lot uh, better. Uh, ah! It's a cat girl! Much better. Starlight Celebrant, I'm Gananji at your service. I'm ever so pleased to meet you during this most sacred sense of seasons. In commemoration of Ishgardian Knights who once sheltered needy orphans from the cold, we strive to deliver joy and comfort to all younglings each Starlight Celebration. This year, we pay particular tribute to the figure of the heart of the Starlight legend. The snowy bearded captain. Don't the faint in my... Nemea. Yeah, yeah, that word. As you can see, we've commissioned replicas of his fluff, of his red coat and fluffy red white fluffy white beard. And yet, no pair of underwear. Suspicious. <laughs> we are wearing pants. Mm. I'd better delight the children than by distributing presents as the saint himself, after all. So far, we have been successful in spreading starlight cheer. However, it seems there's a particular youngling who finds our felicitous festivities distressing. Were I free to wonder, I would reach out to them myself and provide what Ada could. Alas, my duties as celebrant require my attendance here. Might you assist this child in my stead? I'm sure they would welcome insights of an adventurer such as yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm most grateful. Let me summon the young lady who first brought this matter to my attention. If they must. Yep. Um, yeah, I might as well do the... Hello, my name is Sa Saulin. It's nice to meet you, mister. As I told Miss Karanji, I've seen a boy around here who... Oh, look, there he is, over there. Guess he didn't come to play this time either. That boy's been watching the stage from a distance ever since preparations began. At first, I thought he must be excited about the Starlight Celebration, but he always looks so sad. That's why I thought I'd try inviting him to play. But when I called out to him, he just ran away. Aria? Comforting others when they're troubled is a very kind thing to do. You did well to try, Celine. I just think nobody should be alone during the Starlight Celebration. He keeps coming back, so I'm sure there's something he's worried about. Maybe he's too shy to ask for a present. Either way, I'm worried about him. Would you help me make sure he's okay, mister? Well, we got nothing better to do this Starlight Celebration, so let's do it. Hmm. 
Hmm, I suppose. Can I leave this matter in your capable hands? I believe this boy ran Terrible off idea. with the whistling milk. <laughs> <laughs> Just horrible. <laughs> Shut up, Fire <laughs> I believe this boy ran off towards the whistling miller. Perhaps someone there knows more about him. Let's ask around. Please tell me if you learn anything, and I'll be sure to do the same. Well, we're in the thick of it now. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. All right. Following the Valentine. Follow the Valentine. Right. Look, a uh, trial. We're just waiting for the other two. We're stuck, Ganky kid. Following a trial. It's not stalking if it was asked of us. Following a trial. <laughs> We're being a little creepy. All right, let's speak with the cheerful cherub. That boy who always, who always comes to stare at the decorations? I know him. Uh, I mean, I've seen him around before. I don't know his name, and I don't think I've ever seen him smile. That's one. I'm going to go around this way. Yep, found one. Uh, okay. Firex, would you like to do the honors on this watchful whaler? Uh, all right. I want to check. A boy. That one. Y yes, ran right past me towards the Great Loom Glory. Hey, if it works, it works. All right. Then we have the. Yeah, it does. Playful puppet. Oh, you must mean Tenny. I heard he moved here from Uldar recently. Can't tell you much more than that. He makes a point of keeping to himself. Hmm. <clears throat> Can't imagine why going from the de uh, desert to the forest might cost him be a little standoffish. Yeah, especially since at the start some of some Gridanians are pretentious as. Fuck! <laughs> well, I'm not wrong. You're not. Um, you're not. All right, let's speak with Saline. Did you learn anything? Yeah. So his name is Tenny. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go to the Great Lone Glory. All right, and Great Loam Growery is, of course, the Botanist Guild. Whee. Hey, Stray's back! Stray's back? Well, he just logged in. Oh. Cool. But his mic is off for some reason. Cause he's it's not. He, oh. He, he got tired of being your conscience and is uh, having a bit of a sit down. It's a tiring affair. Sad. All right. No, um, I just have to bring the physical chaos. Of Where course. are we supposed to be? Uh, Great Loam Growery. Um, the Botanist <laughs> Guild. Da -da -da. Tenny. Do, 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 do. Damn, I can't jump in the river. 
there. This way, Arya. In the water. One jump in the water. All right. Let's speak with Tenny. Splash, splash. Where the heck did I get here? Oh, sure. Who are you? Putting one foot in front of the other. Who are you? Oh. Some kind of adventurer? He is. And my name is Soline. You were at Mikato's Amphitheater earlier, weren't you? Would you like to go and join the stars? Would you like to go and join the Starlight Celebration with me? My friends will be there too, so we can all play together. Your friends. They're really nice. Do you not want to? It's not that. It's... It's a long story. Because of course it is. I have time. We just moved here for my father's job. And I know there's no point in moping about it, but... I really, really miss my three friends back in Old Ah. During Starlight, we'd show each other what toys we got and eat too many sweets and find all the best decorations in the city. We'd have so much fun. And each time we'd promise to play together the next year, but now... You're all the way in Gridania. I used to love the Starlight Celebration, but now all I can think about is leaving my friends behind and betraying all promise. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't hurt your feelings by asking you to play. It's all right. You didn't know. But Tenny, doesn't this mean you'll never be able to enjoy the Starlight Celebration without feeling guilty? There must be something we can do. Mister... You're a grown-up. What do you think? Uh, don't we have cell phones? <laughs> um. <laughs> no, we got link pearls. Yeah, all right. Pack your bags, kid. I'm smuggling you back to Ulda. Well, what? There's no way my father would allow... Wait. Did you say, say smuggle? Thanks for the offer, mister, but I'll pass. <laughs> hey, it was worth a shot. <laughs> well, it sounds like something three tickets to Gridania could fix. I guess. But Ulda is so far away. That sort of journey is a lot to ask. You're going to make me say it, aren't you? Yes. Thank you, Arya. Mail. That's it. I could send them presents. That's a lovely idea. Everyone loves getting packages. And that way you'll be celebrating together. At a distance. What should I give them? A link pearl. <laughs> what should I give them? Something you can only get in Gridania? <laughs> the answer to that is simple. Oh my god, Godbird is wearing pants. <laughs> Dear God. I, I, it's a pod I, person. I, I, I think Final Fantasy XIV is about to end. Godbert wearing pants. This is a first. That snowy white beard. Th that's the real thing. You're the saint of the mail, aren't you? Quite. Young Tenny, you need look no further than your own two hands. For presents crafted from the heart are presents full of heart. I shall rigorously assist you in every step of their creation as both an artisanal saint and a saintly artisan. I don't really understand, but thank you? 
Dear boy, I'll no one understands. I'll help too. That way your presents will be crafted in half the time. Really? Uh, Alright then. Thanks. Master Adventurer, might we rely upon you to deliver Tenny's gifts once they are prepared? Though we would post them by more conventional rules, a child's hard work and dedication ought to be hand-delivered by only the most trusted individual. And as you are both emotionally invested in Tenny's happiness and currently standing before me, I bequeath the task to you. you I do? Will, I mean, yes. <laughs> you will do it, yes? No, because I'm just standing here for shits and grins. Excellent! Well, and we because you're a massive asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent! Then we shall realize these creations ere the spinner sloshes her nog. In the meantime, I would have you apprise Omgaranji of our efforts. Once you have relayed your report, return here for the requisite packages. Chop, chop! You gave me a package and then lost me a chop chop. I don't want to hear anything about any packages getting chopped. Let's head back to Miketo's amphitheater. So, Stray, are you doing the event now or? I still think a Link Pearl would have been a lot more effective and you can talk to his friends at whenever the mood strikes. Hey, maybe there'll be or a whatever. Link Pearl embedded into it. That's your mom said. That, that was just painful, babe. Yeah, and I have it! <laughs> of That's course you fucking do. Yeah. So how far behind? Oh, chaos. <laughs> how far are you behind, Stray? Well, considering uh, you just started the quest, you didn't, didn't you? really go anywhere. I'm now Santa Claus. <laughs> okay, we're just waiting on Arya. Oh, sorry. I'm watching Astray. Arya is in pain and spacing out, so. Mm. Hence why I wanted, wanted to get this done quickly, because I know you've been through a lot, especially with the weather lately. All right, let's speak with Um. Mm. I throw the snow yeah, balls. Arya? <clears throat> Oh, I see. Oh, whoops! You missed this. You missed a line. Oh, seven holes. <sighs> you know, this would be easier if I had a mouse. Sorry, but we'll mm -hmm. go ahead. Okay, now you can say your line. <laughs> Welcome back. Were you able to speak to the boy? Yep. No. I see. To be separated from one's friends is heartbreaking indeed. I only wish we were able to help in some way. Oh, just the thing. I shall transform you into a saint. I have a saint in the Maria Nambia co costume. That would be... I would be happy to gift you. Teddy's friends will be delighted for a bit for a visit from the spinner's most anointed herald. Take mm -hmm. this with my warmest wishes, dear adventurer. I know you won't let us down. All right, we have got the unorthodox saints gear set so we might as well put it on the saint's cap yes let's put it on this the half it's required Ooh. no gloves come with it 
What are you talking about? I got gloves. You did? Yeah. yeah. Let me check you get again. Get some white gloves. Oh, there they are. And I have a hat I still can't wear. But you have to wear it. You probably don't have to, but... No, you have to wear the full outfit. Oh, well, shit. Okay, well, let's speak with Amgaranji and get right down to it with the next quest, Together um, at a Distance. Give me a minute. I'm trying to get it on. Same here. All right, fuck this shit. I'm going to be a snowman. You're a snowman. I'm a present. <laughs> I'm a gift to the world. Hate to break it to you, sweetie, but the world wants a gift receipt. No returns or substitutions. Uh, and... For the funds, for funsies, I snowball. I am protected by a snowman. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> I, 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 and at this angle, we're hitting your retina snowballs. Nah, you're aiming more at the gut than the butt. Or in the butt. Give me some love, fellas. <laughs> One moment, I gotta get food out of the oven before I burn the house down. Oh, be God. Yeah, yeah, don't go doing that. Yeah, we don't need anything burning down. And what only, only, only time you'll see me. Blast or steam. There we go. Yeah, but now we all see what your face looks like. You know what? While we're getting... While everyone's getting dressed in their unorthodox saint outfits, uh, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch and you like this uh, live stream and you want to see more, click the follow button and turn on notifications so you're well informed. If you're watching on YouTube and you like this video, click the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe by clicking here and click the bell icon for notifications. Click here to watch whatever the algorithm is popping up. Click here to watch the full uh, click here to watch all the seasonal events we've put out over the years and click here to watch the next part of Starlight Celebration when it comes out. See you in a bit. <laughs>